Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. And today I'm playing Squad Deathmatch on Arca Harbor using the Engineer class with the XM8 Compact, MP443, RPG, Explosives Upgrade, and Magnum Ammo Equipped. And today I'm going to be reviewing the XM8 Compact, but first I wanted to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel, uh, watched my videos, left comments, sent me messages, left ratings, you know, all of that stuff. I really do appreciate all of your support, all of your feedback. I enjoy interacting with you guys a lot in the comments. Um, and I just passed up 2,000 subscribers, and then very quickly after that, 2,100. And I was going to do this video right after 2,000, but I just didn't have time, and I wasn't feeling up for it. So uh, I thought, you know, 2,100 subscribers is just as good of an arbitrary milestone as any other. Might as well do a thank you video for that. So. Thank you guys a lot. Um, because of my health, I don't really get out that often. So, you know, you guys kind of fulfill that social need that I have, and I'm really grateful for that. And, of course, I like making these videos, and I, I like entertaining you guys with them. So it's kind of a win-win scenario for everybody involved. So hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy my videos, you know, for however long I continue to make them. And, uh, yeah, let's get on to the XMA Compact. I really like this gun. It's probably one of the better engineer weapons. It's not my favorite. That honor would probably have to go to the AKS-74U, but it's still a very good all-around weapon. Uh, it doesn't really excel in any one area, but it doesn't really have any weaknesses either, and obviously that's a very desirable trait to have in a weapon. In terms of damage, it does 16.7 max damage and 11.2 minimum damage, which is right in the middle of the submachine guns in this game. And its rate of fire is 750 rounds per minute, which is third best. Its reload time is just 2.7 seconds, which is the best of all of the engineer's weapons. And in terms of initial shot accuracy, it's actually towards the bottom of the pack, unfortunately. But its spray is relatively good. It's better than average. And that means that it's not going to be introducing too much inaccuracy into each successive shot. So two or three shot bursts, even at longer ranges, are going to be staying on target with this gun, so that's good. Its recoil I find to be very manageable. Statistically, it's better than average, but you know it's not topping the charts. And its 30-round magazine is nothing to write home about. Very standard for this game. And yeah, that's just about it for this gun. Like I said, it's very good all around. Uh, it's a decent performer in just about any situation, but it doesn't excel in any one area except for reload time. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this gun in the comments below. And yeah, that's just about it when talking about the XMA Compact. But since I did just pass up the 2000 or the 2100 subscriber milestone, whichever milestone you think is more important or less arbitrary, um, I thought I'd do something special for you guys, but I don't really know what you guys would like me to do. So I thought I'd kind of put my two, I two main ideas out there, and you guys can choose the one that interests you more. Number one being an open lobby, but that would obviously be limited to the PC. I don't have any games for my PS3, and I don't own an Xbox 360, so you console players would be missing out on the open lobby action, obviously. So I'm kind of, you know, I don't know, I'm kind of biased against that option right now just because it would be excluding a lot of you from the celebratory action. And then the other option would be a question and answers video, or a frequently asked questions video, uh, whichever you guys would prefer more. Um, because I do get a lot of questions on the videos that I post to this channel, as well as the videos I post on Pixel Enemy, and I don't have time to answer them all anymore. Uh, they've just grown too voluminous. And yes, I did just use that word. Um, so... It would kind of be nice to have a video where I just answer some of the more frequently asked questions or some of the more burning questions that people have for me right now. So let me know what you guys would be interested in. If you want the frequently asked questions or the questions and answers video, uh, just leave me questions in the comments below or you can send me private messages and I'll answer them in a video in the near future. Or if you'd be more interested in... Um, an open lobby let me know and we could do that or maybe I'll just do both it's really up to you guys so let me know I went 19 and 3 this round hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later bye